Hello, it is great to have you here today. Uh, we are focusing on social studies uh, for primary seven, and this is lesson one. The topic is the Rift Valley. That this is the government generated content, and the Kawa has converted it into video informatic format. Now, we are going to move looking at uh, this content for primary seven and here we have the learning outcomes that by the end of this lesson the learner should be able to give the meaning of the word rift valley not only that but should also be able to describe the forces responsible for the formation of the rift valley three should be able to identify some of the lakes and the mountains found in the Rift Valley should also go ahead to identify and describe some of the features like uh, escarpments, like um, fault formed features and many other features which are found in the Rift Valley region. As you are learning at home, these are the materials you need to have. One, of course, you need to have a pen, you need to have a pencil so that you can be able to draw some of the diagrams and uh, maps. You need to have a notebook where you will draw and you also need to have an SSD book. You can uh, uh, find a book, at least one of the notes or the books, you may get a textbook that can be very helpful to you. Uh, we are moving on to now look at the real Rift Valley. Now, the image you are seeing in the background is a Rift Valley region. On the sides here, we have these are some of the features. What is the name given to this feature, the side of a Rift Valley like this? Okay, you will know. Now, in the introduction, we are saying that in this lesson, you learn about the Great Rift Valley. And we are now defining a Rift Valley as an elongated depression with steep sides, which are called escarpments. And a rift valley is formed by the process of faulting. So these are the escarpments and this is elongated depression. It is long, uh, like the one of Africa, stretches all the way from the Red Sea up to Port Bela in Mozambique. So it is elongated. It is wide, as wide as 300 kilometers. So you'll be able to see the real thing. Now, let's look at the extent of the East African Rift Valley. You need to get this by looking at this map. We, we, you see the areas it covers. You need to look at the atlas and be able to name these lakes. Which, name, which lake is this? Which one is this? All this um, we are going to discover as we move on. So remember, this is the map of East Africa. Take, try to trace it, uh, try to draw it on your own. These are some of the skills you need to do an exam well. So um, we are now saying that there are four arms of this great African Rift Valley, namely the Ethiopian Rift Valley, which is up here. We also have uh, the Western Rift Valley, which is this, this one. We also have the Eastern Rift Valley, which is this one. And then the one which extends down here. What is the name given to this? So our answer is here. It's called the Malawian Rift Valley. We move on. There are also lakes and mountains which are found on the floor or on the sides of the Rift Valley. The lakes we are talking about are this. You must know there are so many. Some are even small, too small that they have not even been known in the geography books. <clears throat> but you need to know the major ones and uh, name them. Uh, that is an activity. You need to have all of them named. Um, like this, which are known and others which are not known. You also need to know the mountains. The mountains are called block mountains. Now, I'm giving an exercise. Step one, you must look at the landforms around your local environment, where you stay. Which physical features are there? Are there rivers? What is the name of the river next to you? Is there a valley? Is there a plateau? Is there a flat land called a plain? Take note of that. Move out of your house. Stand there, tell us the features that you see around your home area. Step two, we would like you to describe what you think the Rift Valley looks like in your own way. 
from what I have described or from what the teacher has taught you, describe for me uh, the Rift Valley, the way it looks like. And step three, I would like you to give some of the lakes and the mountains that are found along the Rift Valley. Or just look through the atlas and uh, be able to name. You could also go ahead, name for me the, these rivers. What is the name given to this river? What's the name given to this one? What's the name given to this ocean you see around here? Um, what's the name given to this lake? This one and this one here. It's called Lake Bicina. Uh, name this. What's the name given to this river? Yeah. What is the name of this country? This other country? All this. You should be able to do that. Name the neighboring countries now. What is the country uh, in this area here? What is the name of this country located here? What is the name of this? I want you to do that and uh, you'll be able to. I'll not collect the books, but I'll be able to get uh, feedback from you through uh, phone calls. Uh, next is uh, the, the summary here. So, the Great Rift Valley is the longest Rift Valley in the whole world with a total length of 72,000 kilometers. It starts from Syria. I hope you know Syria. If you look at uh, the extent here, this is Syria after the Gulf of Aden. Uh, it extends up to Port Beira in Mozambique, uh, the port almost on, 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 the, on the coast of uh, the Indian Ocean in this area. And uh, that is the extent. But what are the characteristics of uh, the Rift Valley? Can we name some of them? One of them that uh, there are deep escarpments escarpments are these mountains we are talking about the sides of a mountain um, this side this sides are uh, the mountain sides uh, the sides of the Rift valley the former to call uh, the escarpments uh, we go ahead to look at the features there are also lakes and these lakes are are, are shaped are, are shaped to to, to the to, to, to long they are long elongated lakes do you see how they look like do you see how they look like these ones these are Rift Valley lakes unlike this oval shaped like Lake Victoria which has swamps around uh, these other Rift Valley lakes are elongated take note of that and the mountains are also there in the Rift Valley uh, Rift Valley also tend to have uh, salt lakes the lakes are also deep and those are some of the features I want you to look at this hollow uh, Google uh, area map of uh, Africa uh, you see how Africa looks like so when we start from Ethiopia this is Ethiopia this is the Red Sea this is the Indian Ocean and uh, we extend downwards these um, um, escarpments or mountains in Ethiopia uh, sorry, sorry uh, the Ethiopia is up here not down Ethiopia is, is up 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 yeah, we 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 are uh, um, uh, yeah. So move down. This is a desert area where you see a lot of white. Uh, you can look at different vegetation. Yeah, but this is uh, the extent of uh, of the Rift Valley. This is the eastern side, and we have Lake Victoria here. And these are the other lakes. You can see how they look like in the Rift Valley. So which region is this? You can see it is green. All right, you'll be able to look at this video and understand better. So, this is a Maasai man standing in the Rift Valley region, and these are the sides of the Rift Valley, known as escarpments, uh, fold scarps, and many others. This is the floor of the Rift Valley, and many other areas that you can see. I want now to show you the video of the formation of the Rift Valley. Have a look. Yeah. Okay, so those cracks are formed. Then the central block sinks, and uh, this process is uh, the process of uh, tension formation. Formation of Rift Valley by the process known as tension process. Uh, another process known as compression, where the forces pull and uh, push from different sides, and then the central block goes up. So thank you so much for your kind attention. And the next video, we shall look at formation of block mountains. Right.